That's where we get to the BTR-5. Comparing to the Q5, come on, it's the biggest and the smallest. And this was actually one of my first considerations after seeing Dankpot's video featuring this and claiming that this thing can drive the HD 600 on a non-balanced connection. That's a big stretch. I took my BTR5 to a shop alongside an HD 600. I drove over the 3.5 and the thing didn't quite cut it. Not at all. The low sticks again are like sniffing super glue, and the high sound like they're simply tired of living and commit Sudoku. I'm exaggerating, I know, but you could have any. Still love you though. Thank pods. Still love you though. But it didn't work. Still love you. Over there, I also tried driving Hard R600. This doesn't quite work. But over there, I also tried driving it with the mini IDSD from Iffy. <laughs> Iffy. I know it's IFI, but my brain tells me. Iffy. Iffy. Anyway, that thing was about 5 times the price and 10 times the size. That's a proper way to drive those HD 600s on a go, but... But that is under precondition that you're brave enough about your Im immaculate music taste. And you can endure the looks that you're gonna get on an Asian public transport system. I don't think that's possible. The last one, especially. So now, we know what the BTR5 isn't. Let's talk about what it is. It is a splendid utility item that gives you a lot of the freedom any of the other DACAMs simply cannot provide. NFC. Ah, you see it? You see it? The NFC. The NFC and Bluetooth connection function on this is seriously easy to use and makes a lot of sense if you want to make this your daily driver. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. 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 Ooh. I don't know if you can hear or not. It's just making like a big vibration and a boom. It again. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> eh? 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 Hello, hello. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. My phone is about to die. I have to use my totally a Q5s as a power bank to actually record my phone that's actually filming. I don't want my camera to die. That's gonna be the worst thing that's gonna happen today. And I'm gonna probably smash something and consume a little baby. You don't want that to happen, right? You don't want that to happen, right? Show me CC9 Pro. You don't want it to happen, right? Stay alive. Stay alive, you and your 108 megapixel camera. Good? All right. <coughs> and for the BTR5 only from this, from everything, actually the BTQ5 has actually had it, but I didn't use it. Let's ignore that. Uh, for the BTR5 only, there's a file control app that you can control the codec, the USB, the audio, and all that actually so that you don't need to go through a tiny screen on this to go through the settings. So now let's talk about this app. Let me find it in my phone. What the fuck? Ah! Where did I put it? Oh, oh, find it. Come on. Connect. <sighs> Fucking gimmick. Connection failed? I never had this kind of bullshit. Well, I'm using it. Oh, it's not on. <laughs> it's not on. Uh, edit that out, please. Edit that out. Anyway. Connect. Press this, connect. 
And you see, hey, I have an entire app of everything you'll probably want. It's just right on display. It's really, really crazy. Now, after we have the app open, let's go bumper to bumper and talk about the quirks and feature of the FIO BTR5. There's a lot of things that you can control. It's actually in Chinese, but I, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna walk you over it. Some of the interesting parts, like you can change the codec, so that only accepts a certain. You fuck. You can select the codec. Co Okay, just, it just, it's not working currently, but imagine that you can press this button and select the codec of the BTR5, which I always leave it on LDAC. That's the only one that makes sense. I don't see any other thing on an LDAC making sense, but, and it sounds really good with the LDAC. I usually turn just the rest of them off so that it always connects with LDAC. And then there's the equalizer. Never touched this before because Ew, compression. And then you go to the audio tab and it has like uh, the distortion. I don't fucking know what this is. And the, and the bottom one, I have no idea at all. <laughs> These are just some fun, fancy, and funny thing you can actually play through, and they don't sound any different to me. <laughs> I, I have to be honest, man. They didn't pay me. So I get to say this, they don't sound any different for me. Ah. Uh. And then you move on to the last tab. There's actually the full instruction manual, but in digital form so that you don't have to keep the book. It makes a lot of sense. And at the end of the day, this thing is a fun toy. The LZAC mode is more than decent, but the wire connection really cleans up the sound slightly with the noise, noise floor. But I will have to say nothing major though. And then, we have to move on to the sound. That's really important for anything that's audiophile, right? I am... It's, um, it's a little bit sad, but I have to report there is absolutely nothing special about the sound. And by the way, you see the 3.5 on there? That's a joke. Don't use it. <laughs> Only consider this if you're planning to use a balance connection. 2.5 is more than double the power due to the way to design the circuitry. And it's a night and day compared to 3.5. On a 3.5, it sounds absolutely no different. Sometimes actually worse than a lugger. No matter how hard I try to listen for the difference, they don't sound any different, unfortunately. On a 2.5, it opens up a little bit, cleans up the sound a little bit, not much. The sound stays is actually a little bit smaller than what I would imagine it to be from a portable DAC amp. It's a lot smart, smaller than the Q5 that totally not using it as a power bank. At the end of the day, there's really nothing special or significant about the sound, unfortunately. Shut up, bike. Go away. In general, the FIO BTR5. It's a great, fun toy filled with quirks and features to adequately power your IEMs and maybe even some over ears and over here, Dude, but listen up. If you have the FIO BTR5 and a special piece of 50 centimeter cable for your IEM, and you clip onto your shirt like this, you'll be the hippest boy around the block with the MP3 on your SHIRT. Yo. Though yes, there is a massive user beware for the 3.5 connection as you probably want to snatch a 2.5 cable if you want to really use this thing to its maximum potential. And that's a little bit of extra cost. And that cost sort of adds up and the price sort of begins to overlap with the FIO Q3. Great segue myself.
great segue to myself. File Q3 will be the part three's topic and the finale of this file portable Dakin shoot down. Anyways, that'll be it for part two. Stay tuned for part three. Bye bye. Awkward silence ensues. Engulf me with the silence. Finally.